Major Slack videos. Hey, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Elden Ring Samurai, and today we're going after the Mushroom Gear. The Mushroom Armor Set, which is the best immunity gear in the game. Um, right now, for me, the best immunity gear is the Vulgar Militia Armor Set. Um, if you've been farming a lot of Vulgar Militia, um, Vulgar Militiamen up at uh, the Ferrum Great Bridge, maybe you already have this here at Ferrum Great Bridge. Maybe you already have a complete set of Vulgar Militia armor. If you do, put it on. I do. If you don't, put on your Traveler's gear. Everybody's got this and be following this walkthrough. The Traveler's hat. The Traveler's garb. Traveler's gloves. And Traveler's slops. Alright? And what you're looking for is high numbers here. Immunity. Okay? So I'm going to go with my Vulgar Militia armor. Actually, it's not that bad looking. Okay, and along with the immunizing horn charm, and... <laughs> Hopefully you can craft a whole bunch of these neutralizing boluses. Let's hook those up right away. This will cure you if you get poisoned. And immunizing cured meat. Here we go. I've got one. I believe we have the cookbook to make it. Here we go. Immunizing cured meat. Requires row of fruit, sliver of meat, great dragonfly head, and smoldering butterfly. Let's make a batch of these too. Let's say five. That'll work. As far as gear, this is exactly what we want. Bloodhound's Fang. Sacred Dagger. Um, yep, that might be useful. For now, let's just take it out. And we're just going to use the Bloodhound's Fang and the Hornbow. Manor Tower Shield, your gear. Um, the Arrow Sting Talisman. That is it. For now, we're going to replace the Arrow Sting Talisman with the Prince of Death's Pustule, which will raise our vitality. And the Vulg. Anything that. Um, like any gear that raises your immunity typically also raises your vitality. That's a different uh, stat that's down here at the bottom. That is it. We are going to Seethe Water Cave. Way up here in the Altus Plateau, starting off at Windham Catacombs. Windham Catacombs? Here we go. Alright, I hope everybody's got a lot of volcanic stone. That's another thing we want to do is make a big batch of volcano pots. So um, let me just stash any pots I have on board. There we go. Okay, so I got a big batch of volcano pots. Let's make some more. here you know what I want to make some more neutralizing boluses as well everything that will cure you from getting poisoned or prevent you from getting poisoned I'm losing my voice all right let's do it From Windham Ruins, we're gonna go south until we get down to the river. 
It should be a safe drop down. Should be a set of grace just around the corner here. Discover that. If we don't have any volcanic stone, we can collect some on the way. There's some right there. This is the barrage ash of war. If we kill this guy, just go around the back and sneak up on him. We could actually put that on the hornbow. Okay, and here's some volcanic stone. <laughs> Do you see that? A golden root skull just fell out of the sky. It's raining money! Did I get it? Okay, it's impossible to get. Alright, I'm gonna veer off to the left here. There's some more volcanic stone. Grab every one of those that you can. And get a golden seat here. All right, the road up to Seed Water Cave. Seed Water Cave is directly above Sammy's head, right there on that little ledge, right there. Okay, the road is guarded by these death frogs, which spew out this death gas. They don't really have an attack, but they do have the death gas, and we have no protection against death gas. So when they start blowing up, you know, they blow up like big, like... Like that. See that stuff there? That's their only attack. Other than that, they're fairly harmless if you can just get them. Should be a one-shot kill with the Bloodhound's Fang. Here's something over here. What is this? Oh, a smithing stone 5. Okay. Best thing to do is just ambush them. Stay away from that death gas. Alright, alright. Calm down, calm down. You know you're gonna die. He starts backing away. There we go. Alright, that's not all. There's some more. You could bypass them. These ones here. Just go straight for the uh, Seed the Water Cave. But let's get them anyways. They're going to spawn right about now. There we go. Sucker him out. Take care of him. Then we'll get, we'll get the loot. I didn't know you could get them to calm down like that. That's a lot easier. Watch out. Gotcha. That should be it. Done and done. Alright, now this is what you need your stone sword keys for. First of all, let's take care of this guy. Let's 
going to require a tooth. Let me just get some extra light on this subject here. Alright, we're into it. Alright, the best thing to do is make a speed run for the mushroom gear. Okay, and there's another guy in here. And that's it. Okay, once we drop down this hole, it's game on. There's no way back up. This is like, you know, you're going all in now, okay? To drop down this hole. And once you get to the bottom, you're going to be in poison. So here's what you want to do. You want to have your neutralizing bolus is ready to go. That's not really a good place for him. Let me swap this out for... Yeah, and... Wait a minute, how did I have this? Want that there. Just like that. Alright. Now, as far as gear, let's switch this one out for... Blessed Dew Talisman. Immunizing Horn Charm. Okay, you're gonna take one of these. And run. Straight out here to this little island. Turn to the southwest. Run past everything. Run past all these guys here. Keep running to the southwest. You're going to see two paths. One going to the left and one going further to the west. Go to the one to the west. Drop off the waterfall. Go straight to the west and up this little skinny path here. Once you get here, take your... Um... Oops. <laughs> Take your neutralizing bolts to get rid of the poison that you got it. And then we're gonna work our way path up this path here. Work our way all the way up this curvy path. Black any rats on the way. Take care of that guy. And there's another guy over here. Take those guys out fast. Could be a third one over here. There we go, got them all down. Okay, so we own this bitch. This is exactly where you want to be, up on this ledge here. Double back. And there might be one... yeah. Let's just pull out the bow and take care of these guys. See, the game fed him intel on what I was doing. He's pulling out his bow. Okay, take, take cover. It's like, come on. I think now would be a good time to put uh, the arrow sting talisman on. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. 
And you got a deflate on me, don't you? That's all right. We got a little present for you. <laughs> I gotta love those volcanic pots. Alright, haven't taken care of all those guys. These guys target that one right there and throw a volcanic pot at them. This should take care of all of them. <laughs> gotta love it, eh? Oh, no, you don't. That got me anyways. Alright, and then we just have the big flower to take care of, take care of this guy. Let's see if we can chuck a volcano pot at this flower. could do is switch over to the Bloodhound's Fang, with your stamina recharge, just throw a volcanic pot at it, and while it's stunned, run in. Bloodhound's Finesse, follow up strong attack, and it's a done deal. And here, nope, here, here it is, the Mushroom Armor set, complete set. And I'm about to get poisoned again. I'm gonna hold off. Let me just quickly slap on the mushroom here see if it has any effect. Looks like hell, but it really works. <laughs> I managed to hold off getting poisoned. No, I did not. I got poisoned. Okay, um. Take some anti-poison chewing gum. Slap on the Blessed Dew Talisman to recover health while we're... Okay, so that's it. We got really good immunity now. Check that out. 521. 521 slash 243. That's great immunity. Alright, let's double back, double back and... Get the goodies. and cured meats. Yeah, bump it up to 621. Great. Okay, we got some of these green slime thingies to deal with. These also are great candidates for volcanic pods. These things here. Although I just want to try something. We recently got the recipe for oil pods, which increases um Slips. Yeah, 
Yeah, almost gets the job done. Oh, it's so another one there. Okay, we got the one two punch now. Oil pot, volcanic pot. More damage, but it didn't quite get the job done. Huh, interesting. Okay, we're going out to that thing way across the way there. Probably gonna get poisoned. Poison grease, of course. <laughs> what else? And this is where we dropped in. We dropped in this hole up here. Yeah, they're really throwing in the thick in the thick of things as soon as you drop in. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, I believe we already went up that way. I should have started using rainbow stones. left over to the waterfall oh jeez I didn't mean to do that whatever you do don't roll on the poison it poisons you faster okay this time we're gonna cut to the right as we go over the waterfall down this way. Okay, easy does it as you go down. Okay, now there's this little cubby hole in here. You may be tempted to use your Bloodhound's finesse, but what it's going to do is this. You're going to rebound and fall off the ledge there, so just we're just going to jump in and start swinging. There we go. And get the poison bone darts. Now we can go down. Alright, that's it. Boss fight. It's basically two death roaches in the pond of poison. It's, it's pretty nuts, actually. 
I strongly recommend that you keep your shield up at all times because they're going to be shooting out these pet threads at all times, like, like often. Um, I would recommend the demi humans for sure. You want to keep one of them totally occupied. And um, let's get a gold pickle foul foot ready to go. Some fire grease. my flask of wonders physic with strength not crystal crystal dexterity not crystal tier that's it all right to start off we're gonna take the flask of wonders physic gold pickled foul foot Grease up the sword with some fire grease. Go in, pop out the demi humans, refill FP, and then keep that shield up at all times. Walk on to the to the um, kindred of rot that they're called that is not occupied by your demi humans, and just get up close, do a guard counter, and oh yeah, hook up. Uh, Assassin's Crimson Dagger, and that's it. They're very susceptible to guard counters. Just keep that shield up to protect yourself against um, the pest threats. And you know what? I think I'm going to take some immunizing cured meat. Okay? So that's the plan. Let's do it. Flask of Wonders Physic. This fight is not going to last three minutes, so you might as well take your gold pickled foul foot now. And let's grease up the fire sword. and cured me. Here we go. The other one's toast. Complete toast. My boys are gonna take care of him. You're done. My boys are barely breaking a sweat. <laughs> I love it. As long as you take one down. And that's it. Job well done, boys. Job well done. Get you a case of beer for that one. All five survived. Awesome. Way to go, boys. Well, our work here is done, and we have the best immunity gear in the game. Let's blow this popsicle stand. We have some money. Let's go back to the table, or rather the round table. Regroup. Well, that was a lovely little excursion. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've seen a female character in the mushroom gear. I think women look much better in the mushroom gear, actually. Yeah, it suits them. With the guy character, it looks really dumb. Uh, I mean, I don't know. This it actually almost looks, you know... High fashion. <laughs> hey, my name is Major Slack, and I definitely approve this video. If you do too, please give the old Slackster a big old thumbs up, post a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. All right, see you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube.
you can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.